Bhagavad Gita, text 1.46 Sanjaya said, Having spoken thus, Arjuna sat down on his chariot and cast aside his bow and arrows, his heart overcome with grief. Arjuna's grief is rooted in material attachment. His rationale for not fighting, which begins with verse 28 and concludes with verse 45, is a product of his attachment. And this attachment is what Krishna wants him to slay. Arjuna's attachment is so powerful that it has caused this otherwise great warrior to cast aside his weapons. Arjuna's material identity is a product of his attachments to his family members. Slaying them, he sees no prospect in life because his sense of self is dependent on their existence. Because this fleeting superficial identity changes as the people and things one considers one's own proof to be otherwise, the material ego must be dismantled for one's authentic self to emerge. Krishna wants Arjuna to know his eternal self that outlives his identity based on his present attachments. All spiritual practitioners are first and foremost faced with this challenge. Thus, the importance of dismantling the material ego is brought to light here in the first chapter. Although the Bhagavad Gita is about slaying one's material attachments, most people who read it skip over this important step and argue about the significance of the balance of the text. It should be understood, however, that spiritual life requires that we slay our material ego. From then on, like a boat that has pulled up its anchor, we can successfully sail the sea of our spiritual potential.